Okay, in this video we are going to prove a relationship between the number of vertices, number of edges and the connectivity of a connected graph. So the statement reads as follows, let G be a graph with n vertices and n edges. Okay, if G, okay, if G is k connected, okay, G is k connected means the vertex connectivity of this graph is greater than or equal to k. Okay, then number of edges is at least n times k divided by 2. Okay, so let's prove the statement. Okay. So let the G be a graph okay, with n vertices and n edges. Okay. With n vertices and M edges. Okay, since the graph is going to be K connected, okay, since G is K connected, we know that the vertex connectivity is greater than or equal to this number K. So we need to delete at least K vertices okay, to disconnect the graph. Okay, that's what K connected graph means. Okay. So since G is K connected, the vertex connectivity kappa is greater than or equal to k okay and from the previous video we know this relationship okay uh, the vertex connectivity is less than or equal to head connectivity which is less than or equal to the minimum degree in a graph so that says therefore uh, this k Okay, this k, the k connected k is less than or equal to delta since we have okay, this relation kappa the lattice connectivity is less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to delta okay so that says so this is equal to k here okay, it's greater than or equal to k and that says okay this k okay kappa is greater than or equal to k that says this k is always less than or equal to delta. So this k is going to be less than or equal to minimum degree in the graph. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to use the handshaking lemma. So now okay, by handshaking lemma okay, we have the number of edges okay, 2 times the number of edges is equal to the sum of the degree of each vertex in the graph. So here we started with uh, a graph with n vertices. So the summation will be like i equal to 1 to n the degree of okay, each vertex in the graph g. Okay, And here we know uh, that the minimum degree is delta. Okay, So that says Okay, this particular thing, degree of any vertex in G is greater than equal to delta. Okay, so, so that says this is greater than equal to delta. So that, that means, okay, that quantity is greater than equal to, okay, that is 2 times the number of edges. Okay, 2 times the number of edges. Which is equal to m that is going to be greater than or equal to the so sigma i equal to 1 to n and we know okay, we know the minimum degree of each vertex is delta so this quantity is greater than or equal to delta okay so that says okay, this portion the degree portion will be equal to greater than or equal to delta okay and the reason is since we know the degree of each vertex in graph G is greater than equal to delta. So by definition, the delta is the minimum degree in the graph. Okay, so that says okay, this M is greater than equal to okay, sigma. Okay, uh, this is independent of phi, and this will be equal to n times 
delta divided by 2 okay and uh, we need to get rid of this delta okay so we will be we will be using uh, this one again so we know okay, okay kappa is less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to delta okay so okay, this is greater than or equal to so we can replace this by k because k is less than or equal to delta right from this thing k is delta and equal to divided by 2 okay and the reason is this delta greater than or equal to kappa so which is greater than or equal to okay okay so to be put this bound so we have a graph G with n vertices and m edges okay, and if G is k connected then m number of edges will, will be always greater than or equal to n times k divided by 2 okay so let's prove a corollary for this statement so from this we know okay from the previous theorem we know m is greater than or equal to n times k divided by and this statement reads okay, this, is, this follows from the previous one uh, so from the previous result okay, we know m is greater than equal to n times k divided by 2 so here the statement reads something like for a connected graph g with n vertices and m edges the maximum vertex connectivity it is given that the graph is connected anyway so that says the number of edges m okay, will be greater than or equal to n minus 1 then the maximum what of the maximum vertex connectivity of that graph okay can be this thing okay for a connected graph g with n vertices and m edges maximum what is connectivity g can have is the floor of so this is the integer less than or equal to this one this quantity is then equal to m divided by a okay so let's go and pose this thing so it follows from the previous result from the previous result we have this statement m greater than or equal to m k divided by 2 so that says okay 2 m greater than or equal to m k okay and that says k is less than or equal to 2m divided by n. And since okay, it is an integer, then okay, this is equal to the floor of 2m divided by n. Okay. Since uh, this k connect connectivity of a graph, since k is an integer. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so we proved uh, this statement uh, that relates number of edges, number of vertices, and the connectness of the graph. Okay, and we proved this corollary. So this says the maximum vertex connectivity this graph can have uh, is 2m divided by n, where m is the number of edges and n is the number of vertices. Okay.